Hello, it's Robotnik is Sexy, and if you've noticed that the audio quality has changed, it's because I am talking directly into my crappy digital camera, which is uh, interesting, but I'm doing it because I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long time, and that is I'm going to narrate a rated random matchup battle that I had today. And, um, it was quite the keeper, and, I don't know, I just felt like doing it. I'll even show you my team and talk about it, because in the competitive Wi-Fi community, I don't really know if Rated Random Matchup is really even considered or talked about often at all. Um, uh, I've noticed that there are a lot of Japanese channels that only upload random matchups, so... Um, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's that kind of a thing, I don't know. But, uh, it just seems like as far as YouTubers go, they, they pretty much only upload, uh, singles. Which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, rated random matchup singles is probably the best. Um, and one of the reasons I like it is there is uh, there there's more room for uh, freedom um, outside of the tiers? Like you aren't going to be confined to um, o overused mainly because um, it's just a completely different game since it's uh, you're only using three Pokemon. So I'm going to show you the guys that I used. Jolly, it's a Jolly Crustle. Also known as Cake Bug, you may be familiar with him by now. Um, a timid Gengar. Uh, you're probably not familiar with him. I haven't used him in a long, long time, but he's he's as old as Pearl version, and I just don't really use Gengar that much. But he's a Focus Sasher, um, which Focus Sash is tremendously useful in random, rated random matchup because, you know, s entry hazards just aren't existent, pretty much. Uh, there's Zoidberg, which I'm, if you've seen any of my videos at all, you know about him. He's almost in every upload. Um, look at that special defense. It's, he's a monster. Uh, Jim Henson, the Hydrogon, um, Choice Scarfer, Extraordinaire. Um, he's in a lot of my uploads as well. Um, my, one of my best buddies, Steve, bred him himself and gave him to me as a gift. And I've just been using him ever since, which is really fantastic. Uh, Scar Mark II, which, um, if you're a Robotnik is Sexy veteran, you will remember him from, um, from my older, older black and white videos, my very first ones. Uh, he is one of the very few Pokemon that I've actually trained myself and still use, and as you see, he has a really weird moveset. Um, but, um, you know, in rated random matchup singles, it works pretty well. Um, and then Lol, the Haxorus, who's choice banded with four attacks, and uh, Outrage, Earthquake, Brick, Break, Dual Trap. I actually used a Dual Trap to um, KO a... Um, um, Obama Snow, because they're usually either Focus Sashed or they're Choice Scarfed. I actually took a big risk, because if it was Choice Scarfed, I would have just gotten Blizzard in the face, but I had a hunch that it was a bulkier one, and because I was banded, um, easily took it out with two hits, and, uh, that's pretty great. And, uh, yep, that's, that's my rated random matchup singles team, and here is the video. Um, that I will show you all. You all. You all. Do 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 do. So, I have been snowed in. Um, and it's not like, well, I did have places to go, but not going there anymore. It's been snowing here, um, for like three straight days. It's completely insane. Uh, and, um, uh, the high school has been, uh, closed already for tomorrow, which means that undoubtedly 
the college will be closed also, so I'm pretty much, there's going to be a third snow day in a row, which is crazy anyway. Um, he's going to lead with Reuniclus. Um, I led with um, Gengar because he is fantastic in a 3v3 single environment. Um, he puts up Trick Room. I don't really mind. I'm probably not going to stay in here any longer, but little does he know that um, I chose someone who's fantastic in Trick Room, which is uh, um, Dust Clops. But um, because he Trick Room and did not attack me, well, either way, either situation, I would have two-hit KO'd with Shadow Ball, which is fan tubby tozy that's fan tubby dozy that is fantastic um uh, because rena close is a monster um especially in a 3v3 single environment if you let it call mind even once then you're like dead uh so that's one of the reasons i carry gengar um i actually carry two ghosts and two dragons which is kind of weird but uh it works out um um switch into dust clops here and uh, it takes that payback immensely well uh, he goes into Porygon 2 and uh, traces pressure, which is uh, fine. I don't really care. I mean, I'm not going to PP stall him. I'm just going to try to burn him, curse, pain split, and then get out of there if I can. And um, I know from past experience, um, um, actually a video that I saved recently, that uh, uh, cursing Dusclops just works like a real charm on a uh, bulky Porygon 2, which is pretty much the only Porygon 2. Um, it makes such good use of the Eviolite uh, item that there really is no reason to run any other kind. Um, but, you know, Eviolite helps every every single set out there, so... Yep, so I'm going to paint split here. Uh, Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Um, luckily, he is not going to attack me directly. If he had done so, um, I would have been hurting. I probably would have survived, though, because my special defense is like 372, as you saw. So um, that would have been awesome anyway. I would have actually recovered more health. Well, actually, no, I, I don't think I would have, because he recovered, which makes paint split more potent. Um, because my health is so high, I am going to switch out, I believe, into um, Hydrogon, which is the third Pokemon that I did choose. Um, and he's either going to attack me and die, or use Recover and live to see another turn, which um, I'm pretty much predicting Recover, because, you know, why not? Um, even if he did use Ice Beam, this Hydrogon ta can take um, unstabbed Ice Beams pretty well, so it's not that big of a deal. Not that big O of a deal. I'm not a flying type, so therefore I can take an ice beam. It's pretty cool. Um, switches out here to save his Porygon 2. I guess he cared about it a lot. But that means that he is going to have to sacrifice his Machamp. And a little background about um, this guy I'm fighting. He's actually from Ohio. Ohio. And he had an incredibly high rating. And he had like three or four stars. Uh, which means that he's had, um, what is it, like, 600 battles? I think that's how it works. I mean, uh, every, every, f is it every 100, every 50 or 100 battles, you get a star on your card. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I kind of forget what, how it works. But anyway, Paragon 2 is out here. He's basically dead meat. I'm going to, uh, try to curse him again. And, uh, he's gonna recover, so that's, that's, uh, fantastic. I'm really switching on the right turns, and, uh, this, this guy's gonna get cursed again, and it's gonna be bad for him. It's gonna be bad. It'll be bad. Not good. It's good for me, but bad for him. Gonna use Thunderbolt, bec but because I am a calm, special defense kind, I can take it like it's nothing. Gonna kill myself off with, uh, the curse anyway so doesn't even matter doesn't even matter so he is now cursed again he's burned he's he's not going anywhere um so uh we both have one pokemon left i believe either that or i have two i'm honestly not paying close enough attention which is terrible but uh, at any rate hydrogon is out here and i'm going to take the game with a draco meteor which is always good always nice and uh yeah, just uh, tell me if you like these kind of uploads, because they are kind of fun, but I would understand if they were less liked for some reason. But 
Uh, yep, that's it. Robotnik is sexy. Signing out. See you later.